Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your April 2020 tarot card reading. It's going to be looking at your love life as well as external factors. There's going to be two parts to this tarot card reading. The second part can be found in the link below. So let's begin your reading. Okay, so the first two energies that I'm looking at is giving me an indication of a situation that is talking about some of you experiencing, you know, some very deep emotions concerning an individual. I'm picking up from this energy that you could be receiving, you know, some sort of messages that are occurring from within you okay this tarot card talks about the internal flow that occurs within your heart and soul and it's a sense of knowing it's a sense of understanding and looking at a situation but it's coming from a place of emotion okay so i feel like with this particular card you know, in the month of April 2020, many Sagittarius individuals are going to be looking at their emotions more closely and they're going to want to move towards calmer waters. It feels like that energy where you want to be in a serene environment, you want to have harmony, you want to have peace of mind. Those are very powerful energies that you want to move into, okay? So that tells me that some of you may have had some struggles or may have had some difficulties. Let's get some clarification. Yeah, a lot of what you're going to be experiencing is very heavily rooted in the way the world works, the way that things were written in the stars. It feels as if it's connected to fate. It feels as if it's connected to a deeper understanding of things. With this particular energy, I get the impression that many of you are looking to embrace life, but there's also an acceptance in your energy. I'm sensing that some of you are going to have a much deeper understanding of why certain things happened in your love life and what it means for you in terms of your world, okay? So this is a powerful energy. It's also showing to me that when it comes to drama, when it comes to difficult energies, you're not looking to just sit back and be a victim anymore. You're not looking to just be in the company of individuals or perhaps a certain individual that has disrupted your sense of harmony within your heart and soul. So sometimes in relationships, you may have to remove yourself from certain situations just so that you feel 
you know, that sense of peace. And you want that to be restored in the month of April. So this particular energy is giving me an indication that, you know, your world is going to be changing in the month of April. Not only is it a new month, but I feel like you're going to be looking at life from a different perspective. With this particular energy, what I get from it is a sense of, you know, appreciating things and having a deeper understanding. It feels like you're ready. You're ready to deal with whatever comes your way in the month of April. It also feels as if many of you, you know, you may have been very guarded and it feels as if, you know, your defenses are up because you've been dealing with certain things that have upset your core balance and your core energy on the inside. So what I'm getting from this energy is that if there has been conflict, if there has been arguments or difficulties that you've been dealing with, I do see yourself uh, removing, you know, your energy from that. And I don't see that you'll be sticking around to deal with disagreements or pettiness in terms of your love life. So that is a very profound energy. It's about realizing your worth and, you know, saying to yourself, well, I don't need to deal with certain things like this. I need to, you know, aspire to a better sort of energy wavelength. So that's you standing up for yourself, right? Now, this is a very interesting energy that I'm looking at. I feel like many of you are going to be very sensitive to people around you, okay? Because this tarot card reading is not just focused on your love life. It's focused on the external energies that are affecting your love life. If you have been under the influence of someone, and this is not to say the individual that you are in love with or want to be in a relationship with, but if you have been subjected to people that have you know, very low sort of self-esteems, okay? I'm picking up that you're going to be moving away from that sort of crowd, okay? And I don't feel like this is particularly the individual that you're dealing with in your love life. I feel like this could be another individual's energy, but I'm also sensing that, you know, when it comes to the situation, you're not going to be tolerating people that either stand up and talk against your uh, you know, significant other. I feel like you're going to be standing against that. Let's get another message for that. I feel like you'll be defending the person you love. But I also sense that you'll be able to see people's weaknesses much more clearly in the month of April, which could be very beneficial for you, whether it's in your career or your love life. I feel like you'll see where ego comes in and the role that it plays in trying to make a person feel bigger than they are. So if people are coming up against you in the month of April and they are attacking you for any reason, right? Whether they are attacking your relationship or just being unkind to you in the month of April, I feel like you'll be able to sense that this person that you're dealing with has a lot of uh, deeply embedded wounds or they're just a very weak individual in general, right? Yeah, it feels like the truth is going to be told. It feels like the truth is coming out. 
And you have so much wisdom that you've gained as a result of the experiences that you've had. I feel like you'll be calling people out. I also feel like, you know, some of you may decide that certain individuals are just not worth it. So these are some of the external elements that will be playing a role in your love life. I feel like, you know, there could be a certain experience you have in the month of April 2020, which could be a catalyst for you standing up in your love life. For example, this could be an external individual that comes up into your world and triggers you in a way in which you decide, you know, enough is enough. And for some of you, you may choose to engage this individual or you may choose to ignore them completely and entirely. But it will give you the power to, you know, say your piece in another aspect of your life. That's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up that very distinctive energy that's coming out. So in essence, I feel like you're going to be releasing some very weak individuals from your world, getting rid of individuals that don't, you know, measure up to what you're looking for. You know, as a result of what you're going through during this period of time, I'm sensing that the energy of Sagittarius, right? You're going to be using the experiences you've had thus far and the catalyst that you'll experience in the month of April 2020 to pivot you to new growth, new opportunities, right? And what I'm sensing from these cards is that where there has been people that had to make an exit out of your world, there will be opportunities for you to grow into a stronger and more confident individual. It feels like, you know, you're no longer going to be on the same vibration as individuals that are weak and are inferior to you. It feels as if you're going to be kicking out certain individuals from your life. And these could be people that were interfering in your love life, in your uh, relationship setting, right? For example, people that have been criticizing your choice in a partner or someone that has been trying to make fun of you or just being very cruel or unkind to you. I feel like you're going to be enough is enough and you're going to realize that this individual is a very weak person. They've been, um, you know, basically causing chaos or causing a scene, right? Distracting you from the person that you want to be with, distracting you from your happiness in this uh, situation. So that's a very interesting sort of message coming out from the spirit guides today and I do feel like it's going to be very relevant for you in the month of April especially since you're not going to be you know a victim anymore you're going to be standing up against things or people that uh, go against your beliefs and what you truly strive for in your love life right I feel like whatever you're releasing whatever you're getting rid of is opening up a door for you to be more happier to have a lot more success in your life so don't feel afraid for certain endings that must happen in the month of april and i feel like this is not a romantic interest in terms of this energy i feel like this is a, an external force that could have been interfering in your love life and you might not have been aware of it Okay, so the next two cards that I'm looking at is giving me an impression that some of you are going to be healing, perhaps even forgiving. It feels like that energy very heavily focused on forgiving, healing and celebrating. Forgiving, healing and celebrating, right? The month of April, I feel like 
a lot of you are going to be making peace with something. In the extended reading, I'll be exploring more closely into your love life. Let's get a few more energies to see a little bit deeper into your energy. Yeah, I feel like you're standing up against something in the month of April 2020. It feels as if you are working towards something that is going to be of great significance for you. I feel like your love life and your career is interrelated. There's some objective that you've been after and I feel like you are protecting this. You're protecting it with all of your might and you're not allowing anybody to get in the way of it. It's most likely this relationship because you know where the chinks are in terms of the armor and you know where you need to fix in terms of the relationship. I do feel like there's an external person that has been interfering in your love life and you may know who this individual is. They might have been very critical of you or they might have been very critical of the person that you chose. It feels as if this voice, it could be male or female, but it feels as if they have a very low vibration, very weak type of individual. They might say a few snide comments here and there. They might do certain things. This could be an ex as well. But I'm definitely picking up this energy where this person wasn't on your side as you would have liked to uh, have them, you know. I feel like this individual might have been somebody that was just interfering in the connection between you and the individual that you're dealing with. It feels like a very snake-like energy. So that's something you might not have been aware of especially you know in your love life because sometimes you you know you make friends whether it's in your work environment from your uh, school environment whatever situation you are in and uh, you might not know that that person is either you know watching from afar with some sort of um, you know un unhealthy energy like a toxic energy and I feel like you're going to be removing that individual from your world so that, you know, other things or other aspects such as your love life and your career start to do better than what it's already doing, right? So I'm definitely picking up the removal of an energy force or working your way away from a person that hasn't been good to you, someone that might have been criticizing you, cruel towards you. But I don't feel like this is a person that you wanted to be in a romantic relationship with. It could be an ex, but I feel like your energy is moving away from that and you're healing, forgiving and letting go of things. And you're also moving towards uh, a better life. It feels like a new beginning, a new chapter, something that is uh, really going to be allowing you to have more happiness, right, in your world. So I'm going to be looking more deeper into your love life. I'm going to be looking at the energies you know, in a more detailed way. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care, Sagittarius.